right here and here is the Harry Potter <clears throat> Funko Advent Calendar for 2022. And I bought this from the uh, EMP website for like, what was it? $42.99 or something. Way cheaper than Amazon or any other place. So, let's open it up. Here it is, in all its glory. As you can tell, it's got a uh, blue ribbon this year. It'd be very useful if they actually said the words 2022 or the year on any of these. It'd be so much easier. But I guess we do have, um, I was gonna say they have the, uh, Copyright or trademark year indicated, but they don't. Only they'd have it like down there or over here. But I don't see the numbers 2022 on it. So I guess they didn't really put that in. So anyway, initially, well, at first. Obviously, I was thinking of maybe making shorts, because I don't think I've ever made any YouTube shorts. And I could have just made one little video the day opening this. But then, when I thought about it some more, I decided not to go that route, because technically I have a playlist that has the rest of these in it, which was from 2018. So I kind of just want to keep going with it, you know, so I mixed that idea. Can you recycle this thing? Well, I put it box. If it's not recyclable, we'll just go back into the trash then. Oh, I missed the box. <laughs> anyway, so... It in its full glory. It's velcroed on and voila. Oh, and the whole thing falls. <laughs> and it shows Diagon Alley with some brickwork for the floor. That's very nice. So we'll start with, um, since it's laid out in four rows, as Per the other videos, there will be four parts to this series. I'll upload them, I guess, on the 1st, 7th, 13th, and 19th. I guess we'll do that. Since, like, if I do it on an actual day, it'll be, like, not quite lined up properly. So I'll do it that way. So let me just take a few pictures first, and then I'll get on it. While I was retaking my pictures, I found that it does actually have 2022, and it's right there. So, it does have it on the bottom, anyway. So, of course, I'm dropping it. So let's get started without knocking the entire things over on my desk. to be opening it right here, it's a bit of a stretch, but, um, I should know, but I'll be, anyway, let's see, opened easy, though, 
So that's door number one. Here it is. Ta -da. Harry Potter holding Gryffindor sword, and it's not really bendy, so that's nice. Is that better focused? Very nice hair detail, as always. You got the little lightning bolt in the corner, got a little triangle cone nose there. It's even got 2022 on the back. On the back of the head as well. But, like, you know, on the cover a bit. Anyway, so that's that one. Let me just lay them down there. So, number two. Yeah. I'm gonna snip. Ooh, it's Hermione Granger pointing her wand as well. Very nice. And I, uh, this is a blue cardigan and a red skirt. Or is that a red shirt? With... I don't think it's white trousers, so I guess it would be red skirt with the long white socks. Okay. So that's Hermione. And of course my sleeve gets stuck on the belt. Right. So then moving along. Number three. Really should have recorded this yesterday. Not actually on the first of December. But yeah, I got pretty much well, so, and we have the brown owl. So I mean, it could be just a normal brown barn owl type of thing, or some other type of owl, or it could be piglet. It looks a bit on the young side to be arrow, but what would I know? Actually, you can't tell. <laughs> That's a nice detail, and you see the lines on the feathers. Very nice. So, day number four. There's a little pose there. He's never been a favorite character of mine. I was, I don't know, I wanted to hit him in the face. But, um, at least that's not as flamboyant colors. Just plain brown. And maybe a type of green for the waistcoat. So, I have no well, Gilderoy Lockhart uh, pops, though technically I mainly also get these because it saves me space and money than getting um, the bigger ones. Day five. You know, they really should do like all tear tabs in these, you know, things like open. And this is Draco Malfoy with his Quidditch getup. Very nice, very nice. Very lovely gradient on the broomstick as well. 
with his um, Nimbus 2001, I bet. So then that's last. Day number six for this video. The annoying beetle. What's the word? Journalist. With their rim glasses there. And there's actually, it's actually not a hole. It's, just, it's got like fake glass. Well, not glass, but you know, transparent stuff in the actual glasses instead of just fake I can poke my, my finger through like on Harry's glasses. That one has no glass effect or anything. But Skeeter does. You can probably see the reflection as well on it. That's cool. Look at those ringlets, or whatever they're called. Very detailed hair, let me tell you that. She's got a bit of a butt on her too, look at that. Anyway, <laughs> um, she's got a green quick quotes quill on her as well. Some uh, magenta violet kind of nails, buttons, and furry bits on her outfit. Very nice. The rest of the green earrings and the rest of the green outfit. I guess that's supposed to be gold chain. I mean, that is very nicely done. I do want to hit her too. Or just, you know, capture her beetle animagus in a jar and just leave it there. But, uh, like her mind does. Though I believe. Does she even give Rita lettuce to munch on? Anyway, that's that. So that is everybody. For this week. So stay tuned for next week and whenever the seventh is. Um, yeah, that's almost nothing else really to say. So, who's your favorite for this week, I guess? Um, well, made wise, maybe Rita. It's like, it's got very nice details. <laughs> it's just. Stop it, he's like, huh? Those kind of just, you know, well, apart from Hermione and Draco, they just don't stay down. <laughs> anyway, that's just besides the point. So, did I already say this? If I already said this, well, whatever. Thank you for watching. Like, stuff more. Ring the door for notifications. Go over.